Assalamu alaikum dear students. <coughs> Our today's topic is the servant uh, for class 10th. Uh, it is written by S.T. Semyono. Uh, S.T. Semyono was a Russian and he has written this uh, story. So uh, here is uh, written about the author. You can read it for yourselves. So the theme of this, the short you know summary of this lesson is that this is a touching story of a peasant lad Gerasim comes to Moscow to find himself a place and with the influence of a country man of his a coachman who is living with a wealthy merchant he here gets the position of assistant <coughs> janitor this place was formerly occupied by an old man it was by the advice of his coachman that the merchant sent away the old man and in his place put the young lad. The lad arrives <clears throat> in the evening to begin his work and in the yard hears the old man's complaints in the servant's room for having been discharged, discharged for no cause whatsoever only to make room for the young fellow. The lad suddenly feels pity for the old man and is ashamed to have pushed him out. He reflects for a moment, wavers and finally decides to give up the place which he needs and which has pleased him so much. Learn about his humility in this story. So, this is a touching story, a delicious story. लड़का होता है जिसका नाम होता है जिरासिम वो रशियन होता है क्योंकि वो मास्को आता है तो मास्को नेचुरली अब हम जानते हैं कि रशिया की ये है कैपिटल तो उसके पास जॉब नहीं होता है तो वो जॉब ढूंढने के लिए नौकरी ढूंढने के लिए आता है तो वहाँ उसको एक अपने ही गांवों का एक मिलता है एक कंट्रीमैन वो कोचमैन होता है एक अमीर इंसान के घर में तो उसके पास जा करके वो वो सुफारिश करता है वो कोच में अपने मालिक से और इसको एसिस्टेंट जूनियर यानी एक रखवाली करने वाले का या चौकीदार का जॉब मिलता है तो इससे पहले ये जो नौकरी थी ये एक बूढ़े उस पर एक बूढ़ा इंसान काम करता है एक बूढ़ा आदमी काम करता था वो गरीब था तो लेकिन इसकी सुफारिश पे मालिक ने उसे निकाला और इस यंग बॉय जिरासिम को वो नौकरी दे दी तो दूसरे दिन जब वो लड़का नौकरी करने के लिए आता है तो वो सर्वेंट्स रूम के पास से गुजरता है तो वहाँ वो बातचीत सुनता है इस ओल्ड कोचमैन की तो वो कोचमैन अपने मालिक के नाम कुछ कहता है कि उसने बिला वजह हमें निकाला है सिर्फ हम इस निकालने की तो कोई वजह थी ही नहीं हमने ऐसा कुछ किया नहीं था कि जिससे हमें निकाला जाए लेकिन एक लड़के के लिए सिफारिश पर उसके लिए जगह बनाने के लिए वो हमें निकाल रहा है तो यह बातें सुनकर इस जिरासम को तरस आता है वो थोड़ी देर के लिए सोचता है और समझता है कि नहीं ये तो इनके साथ ज़्यादती होगी मैं अपनी आ, अपनी नौकरी के लिए इनकी नौकरी मतलब इनको नौकरी से निकलवाता हूँ तो इनकी नौकरी चली जाती है तो इनको मेरी से ज़्यादा ज़रूरत है बूढ़े इंसान है ये कहाँ जाए तो इसके बारे में ये एक स्टोरी है तो वो डिसाइड करता है कि नहीं मुझे ऐसा नहीं करना चाहिए और वो फैसला करता है कि मैं ये नौकरी नहीं करूँगा तो यही इस का जो थीम है इसका जो सेंट्रल आइडिया है इस लेसन का इस लड़के की ह्यूमिलिटी के बारे में तो लेसन में आप पढ़ोगे अच्छी तरह से तो उसके बाद अब मैं इस वक्त आपको इसकी थोड़ी समरी दूंगा इंग्लिश में और फिर उर्दू में तो दिस स्टोरी इज ऑफ ए रशियन विलेज बॉय नेम जिरासिम ही बिलोंग टू ए पीजन फैमिली बट फ्रॉम अर्ली चाइल्ड ही हैड बीन लिविंग इन मॉस्को वेल ही वॉज येट ए मेयर चाइल्ड He worked as a bottle washer in a brewery. Brewery होता है शराब कारखाना उसमें बॉटल वाश का काम करता था Then he worked as a lower servant in a house. For the last two years, he had been working with a merchant. Then he was called back to his village for military duty, but he was not selected for military service. So he had nothing to do in the village. Living in the village seemed dull to him. He was not used to village life. So he came back to Moscow and tried to find some job for himself. He went to his previous master, but the place had been uh, filled already. He met all the people he knew in Moscow, but none could find any job for him. He did not know what to do or where to go. Sometimes he had to go without food uh, the whole day. One day he went to a man named Yegor, who was from his village. This man worked as a 
coachman with a rich merchant. He had a hair and oily tongue and had earned the favor of his master. He gave Jerasim a healthy welcome. He served him with tea and uh, also gave him something to eat. Jerasim told him how he failed to find any job in Moscow. At this, the coachman started. Uh, the coachman started uh, giving a long sermon on honesty and faithfulness. He said that workers are not generally honest and faithful. That's why they are refused employment when they come back again. However. He said that he would speak to his master uh, for him. It was time for the coachman to take his master to town. So he sent Jirasim away, assuring him that he would speak for him to his master. Now there was an old man working with a merchant as an all-purpose servant. His name was Polycorpich. Yegor started convincing his master that Polycorpich had become too old to work properly. He said that the old man was no good and now should be dismissed. He added that there was a young man from the village who was without a job. He could be kept as a man of the old work. But the merchant had all sympathy for old servant. He did not want to throw him on, uh, throw him on the road and leave him there to starve. Moreover, there was a there was the old man's wife also. He thought it a sin to dismiss his old servant for no reason. But Yegor used all his glib art to convince his master that Polycorpich and his wife deserved no sympathy. They were not honest in their work and had saved a fellow dollars also. They could spend uh, saved a few dollars also. They could spend their old age in an almost. At last the merchant said, all right, bring your friend here. I'll see what I can do. When Jerasim came the next day, Yegor took him to his master. After a few little questions, he agreed to take Jerasim as a man of all work. He asked him to come the next day and take Polycarpich's place. Jerasim was almost mad with joy. He thanked the coachman and took his leave. But he was crossing the yard. He heard some voices coming from inside the room near the gate. Jerasim knew it was going to be his room now and he stopped there to listen to what the people inside were saying. And what Jerasim heard gave him a big shock. There in the room were Polycorpich and his wife failing over the way they had been dismissed. Both of them knew it was Yegor who was behind all that act of cruelty. cruelty. The wife said that she would tell the master how Yegor had been indulging in acts of thieving. But Polycorpich said, that it would be a sin to do so. The woman burst on sobbing. Jerasim heard all this. He walked back to Yegor and said that he did not want the job. He said that he would look for another job for himself. Yegor flew into the into a rage and started abusing Jerasim. Without saying a word in reply, Jerasim left the place. He felt happy and light-hearted. So this is the summary of how he refused to do it. When he heard his stories, he old servants, how he उनकी उन पर मुसीबत आने वाली है तो कैसे उनको निकाला गया था तो उसने फैसला किया कि मैं ये नौकरी नहीं करूंगा तो उसने वो नौकरी न करने का फैसला किया तो ये इसकी इंग्लिश में समरी थी अब नेक्स्ट लेसन में हम इसकी उर्दू में समरी करेंगे